Welcome back to the course in Robotic Process Automation. We've automated the task of taking a manager's urgent email and then creating a Google task. In this video, I'll show you how to test if the automation you just created does exactly what you envisioned. At the top right corner, there is a link called Test with a conical flask icon next to it. Click on it. A test flow dialog box will appear. Click on the radio button to test manually. A blue test button will then become active at the bottom right corner. Before you click on the test button, I want to make you familiar with what is called flows in Power Automate. In simple terms, a flow is a series of steps that you create to make automation. Or you can say, a flow is an automation. Don't get confused when I use this interchangeably. Now, click on test and wait a few seconds. You'll notice that at the center of the screen is a loading icon waiting for the trigger. Send an email from the email address that you added as a trigger and include the term, urgent, on the subject. I'll demonstrate it so you know exactly how to do it. I'll switch to the emails and send the email. The email address that I used as part of my trigger was bonza at majosiacademy.com, but for the sake of testing, I'll omit it. You'll notice that when you are using your organizational account, you could see your colleagues' email addresses as you type, but like me, you get the message, user was not found. So, don't be alarmed if you are using a personal account when the email that you typed isn't saved on the trigger. Moving forward, the subject must include the word, urgent. This means that your trigger, like in my instance, will look for an email with the word, urgent. Great. Send the email. You must now wait for a few seconds while the email is sent and received. When it is received, the trigger will then cause the automation to start. Look at what will happen to the flow as the email is detected. The flow runs and if there are any errors, it will let you know. In our case, all is green. This means that our flow ran successfully. Final check. Let's go to Google Tasks to see if a new task was created or not. We are back on Google Tasks and there is the task. Automation is successful. This was a very basic automation, but it introduced you to connectors, triggers, actions, and testing. Go to the templates and see what automation you can create for yourself. See you in the next video.